Hello, and welcome to Miss of Time Emporium. I'm Joni, and today we'll be taking a, a look through the Sybil's Oraculum, and also we'll be having um, a chat about this deck. This deck was originally released in 2018, so I've been looking at it for a number of years. Uh, it's created by Tayana Lee McQuiller, and artwork by Caitlin Foisy, I believe is how you say her name. It's done in the mosaic style, and this is based on the Oracle of the Black Doves is a system of divination inspired by the Libyan Sibyls, the African prophetesses of the classical world. So these, it's a 44 card deck. It's divided into four suits of 11. So there's four different, slightly different, this is a blue backing, this is a red backing, this is a copper backing and a black backing. So you pull in sets of four. Let's take a look at the cards and then we'll we'll have a look at the book. So there are some oracles where you pull a card daily and it serves as inspiration and you just kind of move, you know, through it. These really um, are a self-reflection deck. I'll read a little bit out of the booklet after we take a look at the cards. I originally got this oracle because I thought, oh, I'll use it with my Iyami oracle in combination or in combination with the Tarot of the Orishas. Um, I have done a walkthrough of this deck. If you want to see, it's an amazing, beautiful deck. I will be doing a, a walkthrough of this deck as well. but. So, you know, I kind of, I wouldn't say casually picked up the deck because again, I've been looking at it. It's been whispering to me for years, but I, I didn't understand um, the nature of the deck. The artwork is beautiful and deep and meaningful. So again, 44 cards grouped into four sets of 11. And there's in the booklet the history of the Black Dove of Africa, the Black Doves of Africa, and the Sibyls and how they originated in Africa. And then the Greeks discovered them and the Romans were in the area and all of those things so you get some historical background a very well researched deck so all that to say this is not a casual pull a card a day Kind of just read one line message and then go about your day. I will show you. Um, I have started a journal. A journal is recommended uh, when you first sit with this deck. There are a set of 121 questions that you answer and then you score it based on empowering thoughts or disempowering thoughts and then you reflect on those thoughts so again um, i've had this deck for about a month and it's taken me this long to kind of even feel like i knew enough about the deck to speak about it put that next to my african beauty so this is the booklet that comes with it. I'm going to read what it says about how to use the oracle. The Sibyl's Oraculum is not a fortune telling tool. It is a cartomantic method of divination designed to facilitate self-examination and decision making to improve the likelihood of success in all undertakings. It is best likened to homeopathic medicine as it focuses on the root causes of discomfort, disorientation, or disease rather than analyzing its conspicuous manifestations. 
There are plenty of excellent divination tools out there that will accommodate external inquiries, but the Sybil's Oraculum is not designed to do so. So it's very specific. Um, so then it goes into the black core issue cards, the copper projection cards, the blue cool action cards, and the red hot action cards. And then as you get into, it gives you kind of, kind of some advice about reading examples and that kind of thing and keeping a journal. And then you go into the assessment. So there are 11 sections of 11 questions and you answer them true or false and then you score your test. So I just got a simple book to keep my, and I've taken my test and then done my reflections. So this is just the work that's been done to even begin to use these cards. I pulled the first four cards today. I have not yet gone through the meaning of the cards or anything else. I just wanted to share this wonderful deck with you. I don't know if I, I did. Yeah, I did show the back of the deck. Um, and let anyone that's looking for some deep inquiry into their thinking and how their thinking reflects in their world, um, this is a great deck for reflection. And then I wanted to talk about, and I'm not sure where it is in the book, but I do remember there are, let's see if I can find it. In the ancient Mediterranean world, the dove was a symbol of the soul, the great mother goddess of innumerable names and her priestesses. Therefore, the reference to these two black doves, dark-skinned women, question mark, from Thebes, identifies them as sibyls. So again, there's, there's history, reverence, and there's an association with um, gods. It says here, the Libyan mosaic art favored by the Roman elite. Um, there are no humans on the cards. The symbolism, the symbols included in the deck reflect the rich cultural diversity of the ancient Mediterranean people who mated, mixed, and borrowed ideas from one another for millennia. It is important for me to note that each symbol is only explained within the context of the deck. The majority of the symbols have multiple meanings and such a rich and complex history that it would be impractical for me to attempt to address them all here. The ancients were very aware that a picture was worth a thousand words and that art symbolism has the power to impress the mind spirit. So again, a wonderful deck. Um, it says, granted Africans have never been a monolithic people and the continent has always consisted of a multitude of different ethnic groups, social structures and the like but there are fundamental ideas about life and living that unite them all across space and time. These include the following, emphasis on the common good, and then it goes into it, reverence for means to communicate with and obedience to the ancestors and the gods. So it goes into a whole list of African and Mediterranean concepts so that when you use this oracle, you really understand what you're using. And then um, it tells you how to consult the Oracle and reading for others. It's very complete. I'm very excited. I'm very, I, I plan to meditate on each one of these cards and learn. So what you get is um, kind of the keywords and then the key phrase, and then the symbols, the associations, and commentary and questions to consider. So again, really, really a lot of questions to consider. These cards are made to reflect on. So I, I hope you enjoyed this um, discussion about these cards. Again, it's the Sybil's Oraculum. And I highly recommend it if you're looking to do some work and perhaps identify 
some reoccurring patterns in your life that you'd like to shift, those kinds of things. And also um, just to reconnect with the idea of a, a historical oracle and what that meant. So thanks for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Always appreciate your likes and um, our subscribers are truly appreciated. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.